Hi, Rebecca from Stir the Pot Cooking Supplies. Thought I could make it a whole week. I happily, happily was wrong. We were able to develop pretty good root structure within seven days. Join me and I'll show you the outcome from this do-it-yourself cloning rig. Thanks for joining me this afternoon. I actually thought I was going to be able to make it a whole two weeks before I would have, have an opportunity to show you the rooting structure that we've uh, accomplished with this do-it-yourself cloning rig. So without any further ado, I'm going to just lift up the top of this so you can see what we were able to grow. Can you see that? It's pretty good root structure in seven days. I'm going to take these clones out now and uh, plant them into small transportable cups um, and they will just get a chance to get used to the soil and then they will be put into the ground. Okay, we have to talk about a few things. Like Maybe this could be my Halloween costume this year. I could go as a do-it-yourself cloning rig. I mean, really. Looks like I'm a head on top of a cloning rig. Anyways, there's a few things we do need to talk about. The dome. Um, you'll notice that there's some condensation inside. And um, when this is first starting to become established, what you're going to want to do is take a mister and just mist the inside walls and the top of this um, so that you've got good amount of humidity clinging to the surfaces. Um, once we had this in place over top of the tray, um, we had our fluorescent grow lights set over top of this. So four fluorescent grow lights and uh, I did keep a mister at hand because with the grow lights basically right over top of the canopy a lot of the um, condensation would would evaporate over time so I would check it once a day and just re-mist everything and make sure that I had um, lots of condensation clinging to the side walls. Um, and then uh, we just pretty much kept an eye on it and uh, just made sure that it looked like it was doing okay. And that was pretty much it for seven days. Um, checking it at the seven day mark, absolutely. Um, amazed to see how much root structure uh, we were successful at growing and I'll just pull one out here so you can see like that's not too shabby for seven days I think that once planted this little cutting will be viable with that much root structure so um, from here we're going to plant into uh, these cups. Uh, these are just standard uh, plastic cups that you can purchase, readily available at most stores, uh, grocery stores even, uh, dollar stores, party stores, readily available um, and very inexpensive. Now, um, you'll notice that there's uh, some holes cut in the sides and you're going to want to take the time to do that um, in advance. Um, it's a lot easier to handle the, cut, the cups and make the cuts 
um, before you've got dirt and a fresh clone that you've just planted. Um, pretty much we want to just let those be and uh, take care that nothing happens while they become established. Um, we'll let these uh, get used to being in their soil um, in the cups for another two weeks or so and then um, they'll come out of the cups and they'll be planted um, for the season outside. At any rate, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having a look at uh, the viability of making a do-it-yourself cloning rig out of a tote, um, some aquarium aerating stones, and an air pump. Um, so for less than $100, uh, we're able to clone uh, 50 cuttings at a time. And it's taking about a week. So not bad, not, not bad at all. Thanks for joining me.